On the Electoral Commission says it expects political parties and candidates contesting in Tuesday's by election at Kumewu to present polling agents who will comport themselves and also comply with laws governing the electoral process. The Commission is pledging to deliver transparent results in the by election, but insists polling agents have a key role to play in making the process more credible. Political parties, especially the National Democratic Congress, NDC, and the New Patriotic Party, NPP, have wrapped up campaign activities at Kumewu after weeks of intensified effort to win the parliamentary seat. Over 34,000 voters are expected to vote across 75 polling centres in the election. Ashanti Regional Director of the Electoral Commission, Benjamin Banobu, says the commission is ready to deliver a credible election. Let's go live to the Ashanti region and speak to our correspondent, Hafiz Tijani. Good afternoon to you, Hafiz. Many thanks for your time. Now, you have been speaking to the Electoral Commission. How prepared is the EC ahead of tomorrow's by-election? So the Electoral Commission says it has deployed or dispatched all its electoral materials from the region to the Kumeu constituency, and they will be doing the distribution in the morning tomorrow so that all the centers can have their materials ready for the election. They have said that they have also made ready their uh, agents who will be manning this election. And they have also made some engagement with the police to provide security to these officials who will be supervising the elections. Now, earlier, when you spoke to the Electoral Commission, they mentioned why they had to use a hole for one of the independent candidates contesting in this by election. What reasons were given by the Electoral Commission? Well, briefly, Mr. Banabio, who is the Ashanti Regional Director of the Electoral Commission, says that the independent candidate was the last candidate to file his nomination on the close of nomination. So when he came, he came with a logo that was similar to that of a first independent candidate who had filed already. So they insisted that he should have changed the symbol, but he also said he was not going to change the symbol. Then the commission says that uh, there should be some engagement according to the electoral laws. The commission itself has the mandate to ensure they don't have similar or the same symbols of different candidates on one ballot paper. So they use their discretion and the law to change the symbol so that there will not be any conflicting symbol in or on the ballot to confuse uh, prospective voters. Now, um, you are in the community, the Kumewu community. How is the community looking like after the political parties wrapped up their campaign in the last couple of weeks that they have been on? So this is the main center of the Kumewu township. And you can see in the background, the MPP and the NDC have hoisted their flags. Coming into the Kumewu constituency, there are several security checkpoints that have been mounted by the police to ensure that people are safe, drivers drive slowly. You know, there's an ongoing construction of roads, so the police is also taking its time to advise drivers to limit their speed because of the activities here. But everyone is going about their duty and they are anticipating the votes tomorrow.